This is the systems mini project. Okay, so let's take a look at the intro. You are going to use your technology to research two items you would like to buy. One item needs to be exactly 295, so, and the other needs to be 345. I'm going to show you how you can go about doing that. You are going to buy a total. Okay, so here's our keyword total, and if you remember what total means, total means to add. You are going to buy a total of 80 items. You have a budget, a budget of $250. That's the amount that you're going to spend. Use eBay or Amazon. These are two great sites. In fact, I'm going to show you how to use eBay here to find two items, one $295 and one $345. So let's do that. So let's pull up. Okay, so here's eBay. So let's search. We're going to search candy. So I'm going to hit candy in the search bar and then go down right here to where it says price. Now for price, since our first item was $295, we wanted exactly $295. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go, I want to see items that are from $295 to $295. We're going to hit the search button. It's going to pull this up. And so let's say I want to do the Mike and Ike five ounce box of Jurassic. So that's when I come over here and you just write that down, Mike and Ike five ounce. You don't have to write the whole thing down. And then I need to find something that's 345. So 3.45, 345. Find something. Ooh, Pine Japan. So that's what we're going to use. 345, Pine Japan. So we'll write that down here. Let's use a different color. Pine Japan. Okay, so don't spend a lot of time on this part here. This is just your engage activity to kind of get you going with the project. So now let's look at question two here. Question two says, write an equation that represents the total number of items. Okay, so let's go back to our keyword here. Total means you're going to add the total number of items you can buy using the variables X and Y. So here's our variable X and here's our variable Y. And if you recollect the two items we were buying, the Mike and Ike and the Japan, the Pine Japan. So we're going to add these two variables together. And if you go back up to the top, look how many that we can buy. So that's what you're going to set those two equal to. So I'll let you see if you guys can figure out how to write that equation. Then when you get to question three, question three says write an equation that represents how many items you can buy based on the cost, the cost of each item. So it's 295 times the value of X and it's 345 times the value of Y. And if you go back up to the top, it said all together, so that means total, you can spend up to $250. And then I'll let you guys see how you can, see what you can do with coming up with the uh, budget equation there. Okay, so let's look at question four. So question four, you're going to write down your equation here from number two and your equation here from number three. And then you want to get them both at the very end in y equals. Now, I will tell you that the equation here for question three, it's going to get pretty nasty. You're going to end up with some fractions. And at the very end, you're going to end up dividing everything by 345. And what I suggest to do is that whatever fraction you get here and whatever fraction you get here, leave them as fractions. And then what you'll do is you're going to hit your F1 key in your calculator, which is in green. I guess I could have used the color green here. It's in green. And you're going to simply type these two equations in y equals and then use the F1 key right here and here and leave those fractions as fractions. Don't, don't convert them to decimals because you're not going to get an exact value. So once you get done with that, question five goes back to the project that we did with the cell phones last week where we were calculating an intersection. And so you'll need to look at your project that I passed back to you guys and figure out how do you calculate the intersection of two lines because that is going to be the process that will allow you to figure out how many exact items you can buy of X and Y. And then question six, what did you do in order to determine how many items you were able to purchase? That's the process that we were just talking about for question five. Good luck, guys. I know you can do this. If you have any questions, don't forget to ask.